Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Manning Field for the 61st, again, it's all-star football game. And then there was one. The week started out, everybody worried about the weather, the way it's been going, and are they going to get games in because they had to play here at Manning with soccer and over at Frazier, here at soccer and lacrosse, and over at Frazier with baseball and softball and the football. So obviously worried about the weather, but the weather has been great for Aganis. And now we're down to the end. Nine games scheduled to be played. As I mentioned, now there is one. The football, the last game, the grand value of them all, the 61st. It's had many, many travels. It was at Manning Field, Manning Bowl, excuse me. 1983, it got played at Landrigan Field in Wakefield. 86, it came back to Manning. 05 and 08, three years it moved to Bertram Field. Then it came back to Manning in 09 and it's been at the bowl and here at the field the rest of the way. It started in 1956, but it's the 61st game because from 59 to 64, the South has won the top and elects to couldn't play. It used to be played the first Sunday in December. And the headmasters ruled no games could be played during the school year. And there, were a, there was a polio game played during the summer. So they just they, they didn't play for those six years. This would have been the 67th. Those six years takes that away. It's the 61st. And there were changes also. It, Starting in 56, it was the north and south. It stayed that way until 1980 when he changed over and went to east and west as they went a little broader with players and participants. It went from 81 to 97, and then 98 till now it came back as north and south. A player inside. No, no, no. Then one of the players actually came out to be the game. Kicking off for the North, number 84, Jack Marks. Five straight number wins eight. by the North one, coming into Jimmy this. Martin. And number 84, Tom Ridley. The kick coming, and we're underway. And he drills it deep into the end zone. The ball will come out to the 20-yard line. Kick goes at the end zone for a touchback. South will begin first and 10 at the 20. <laughs> Starting at quarterback for the South, from Peabody, Number nine, Jay Lynch. Jay Lynch from Peabody, who was all everything in the Northeastern Conference, will be the quarterback for the South. South wearing the white, North wearing the blue. The ball will be snapped at the 20 yard line. Catch made. Lynch's pass complete to number 37. Pasha Beachin of Fenwick. Gain of four, second down. They mark the ball out to the 24. We'll give him six on the pass. It'll be second down and four. Short squads on each team. There were players that did not show up. I don't understand why you don't show up when you pick for an all-star game. Lynch throwing quickly out again. He'll get the first down. They just pass the lead to number 84, Colin Ridley. Gate of nine. Colin Ridley of Peabody. Peabody to Peabody. Out to the 33 for a pickup of nine. Well, the South picks up the first first down. Stay in it. 
spread. Double wide outs to either side. Motion now. They give it to the motion man, turning the corner. Colin Ridley of Peabody. Out to the 39, he picked up six. Colin Ridley of carry. Gain of six, second down. Second down and four. Opening drive of the 61st again is all-star football game. How are you doing? Again, double wide outs to either side. Motion again. They take the motion, they give it to running back. Back. Kamari Ellaby from Everett. Only a quarterback. Carried by Kamari Ellaby. No game. Third down. It'll be third down and four. As we get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, they got two quarterbacks in the backfield with double wide outs to either side. Elby goes in motion. He gets the toss, and they throw a deep, wide open downfield. I mentioned they had two quarterbacks. Number 33, Costa Beachin. Costa Beachin for 61 yard touchdown. 61 yards. Eighty yards in five plays, and I just got through saying they got two quarterbacks in the backfield. They flip it out to the far side, and Ellaby. It's a wide open cross the beach in from Fenway, Bishop Fenwick, and Maximus. Max Rizzo's extra point is Rizzo with the point. South seven, north nothing. Well, just like that. Not a bad way to start. Five plays, 80 yards, 61 of them on that touchdown pass. And just like that, the South has grabbed a 7 nothing lead after the extra point. South team really get into that, celebrating. Pat Durgan is the tournament director. A lot of these guys, we have many people. I've mentioned before, so much support, so much time, effort, energy, donations made by so many people help to make this a tremendous event every year. And it's great for these young men to get to play their last game. We'll mention the Lynn kids. It's a great treat for them to play their last game on their home field, they thought maybe the season's over. Some of them played in a couple of sports, whether it was baseball or basketball or soccer. But there'll be Lynnites playing on Manning Field, Lynn Tech, St. Mary's, English classical. Hip. Be playing for the last time. Deep return, number 20, Will Shannon. They kick it away. At the 11 yard line. Getting up I have the 30. I'm gonna put it to 29. Dog will begin first and 10. Well, the south. I have to get used to this because. Ooh, in the white. Three wide outs to the far side. Motion coming to the near side. 
Mandoff running straight ahead, the pile of players. Ball carried by number 20, Will Shannon. Will Shannon. Second down. Gets it out to the 35, he picked up six. Second and four. And three wideouts to the far side. Motion now coming to the near side. They let it fly deep. Hot! Back to Shiva Carlos Pass, good week number 90, Sam Sam Gazette. Down to the South 27. Eight of 38 in the first down. 38 yards in the first down. And we got a South player down. They have been, they've given out the local scholarships. Anthony Dietrich of St. Mary's, Anna Frank Gruley of St. Mary's, Ali Fritz got, those are Haganis scholarships, Ali Fritz from St. Mary's got the Thomas Demakis scholarship, Brady Warren from Classical got the Greg Haganis scholarship. The Haganis Foundation in all their years have given up nearly two and a half million dollars in scholarships to just about 1,100 students. It used to be each scholarship got $1,000 a year for the four years you stay in college. So it was a $4,000 scholarship. They upped it this year so that everybody now and in the future, it will be $2,000 for every year you stay in school. For a total of $8,000. Let's hope the young man's going to be okay. Looks like he's trying to walk it off. And I think... It's Ali Washam of Chelsea. They run it straight ahead. Number 20, Will Shannon on the carry. Tackled by number 88, Jose Lendor. Shannon from Masco gets his second carry. Down to the 21, he picked up six. Down. So it'll be second down and four. So both running plays have picked up six. The big pass play picked up 38. And they're almost in the red zone. Second and four. Max Simitaro is the quarterback. Trying to run to the outside. Was able to step up and make something out of nothing. And it again. Tackle by number 43, Ryan O'Leary. He picked up half they needed. Gain of three, third down. Well, third down in the yard. Obviously, four down territory here. Chira Mataro of Triton. I said Masco. Ma Max Tia Mataro of Triton. He's going to West Bay College. He's the quarterback to start the game. Two wide outs to the near side. They run it straight ahead. They'll have enough for the first down, I believe. Got it to the 16. He needed one, he got two. 
So first and 10 from the 16. I mentioned everybody, the volunteers, the people selling tickets, taking tickets at the gate, holding the signs, holding the markers on the sideline, the, the officials, the referees, the umpires, the basketball officials all donating their time. Trying to get to the outside, turn the corner, nice move. Getting to the outside, that's David Brown. Used his speed to get out there. He got to the eight. He actually got to the seven. Eight of nine, second down. So he picked up nine, it'll be second down in the yard. Paul Harold and the guy that drops the eyes across the T's, putting it all together. Una Mullen, his second in command, who does a tremendous job. So many people getting involved. Running it to the near side, cutting it up inside. Ball carried by Shannon. Might have lost yardage. Stop me by number 90, Mike D. Police. They put it back at the eight. He lost the yard. So third and two. As we've got three minutes of counting left in this first period. Seven nothing to South as they went 80 yards in five plays on a big 61 yard pass play. Now two wideouts to the far side. A wing to the near side. Shannon in the backfield. They need two for first down. Motion coming. They give it, fake it to the motion man. Yep. Dumping it off. Caught looking for a touchdown. Shimitar's pass complete number 20, Will Shannon. Shannon caught the pass. Knocked out of bounds. He does good for a first down. First and goal up the two. Chiara Matawa looked like he was going to try and run it in. The last minute he dumped it off. They pick up their third first down. And it'll be first and goal from the two. He went out of bounds, stopping the clock. Two wideouts, three wideouts to the far side. Tight end to the near side. Shannon in the backfield with Mara Mataro. Motion coming. Hit by the quarterback. Trying to dive forward. They're trying to push him in. They're trying to push him away. I think he got to the one. Off to the line, no game, second down. So they put the ball down at the one. He's a 10th player to drive. The ball's at the one yard line. Marimatawa got the play from the sideline, bringing it back to the huddle. Two wideouts to the far side. Tied in to the near side. A wing in the backfield. They give it to Shannon. He gets stood up. Somebody lost a helmet on the play. He's going to lose yardage. Shannon on the carry. No gain. Stopped by number 73. Put it back at the two. He lost a yard. Third down. So third and goal from the two. So they gain one, they lose one. Now we're in the final minute. Two wideouts to the far side, a wing to the near side. Motion coming. Kept by the quarterback, looking to throw. Dumps it off. Caught in the end zone. Shannon did it all. Yards. 
The two-yard pass play. Well, the South went 80 and five. The North goes 71 in 11, and they look to tie it up. <laughs> Looking for the tying point. So the two drives just about ate up the first period. The kick yeah. is good. The point is good. Time to score at seven. So right back when we started, dead even. He'll kick it off. May just about end the period. 30 seconds showing on the scoreboard clock. That's the end of the first quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that's, they call it the end of the first quarter. Turn it. Kick is returned by number 43, Ryan O'Leary. Ryan O'Leary is a prep. Turns it to the 26. Oh, we start the second period. First and 10 at the 26. First and 10 from the 26. South will have it for the second time. Two wideouts to the far side, a wing to the near side. Just about the line of scrimmage. That's Ellerby. Ball carry back from 33 to Mari Ellerby. Those are just the quarterback for Everett. And Everett to the Greater Boston League Championship. I believe they were undefeated for the regular season. Jay Lynch is the quarterback, but with those two guys in the backfield, you have to worry about both of them. It was Ellaby who threw the touchdown pass. Came the lateral from Shea. And then throwing the bomb to Beechin from Fenwick, and we're going to get a timeout, I think. We lucked out all week long with, with the weather. Seven, nine games are played outside. And when the way the weather was going, everybody was worried about it. Even today, during the day today, 11, 12 o'clock, it was raining, raining pretty good. 
sun came out, started rain again, but it's gone. The sun is out. It's a great night here at the ballpark. We mentioned it's the 61st All-Star Game. It was the first and only part of All-Star Week way back when in 1956. It was that way for a while. They started adding sports. Baseball, obviously, being the Gannis tournament, was the obvious number two. Then they added softball, soccer, basketball, lacrosse. It became a nine-game week, honoring the, the outstanding athlete from Lynn Harry Aganis. Che with the pitch out to Ellaby. Looked like he might be going to throw again. He keeps it and gets near a first down. They put it to 35. He picked up nine. Second down and a yard. Third down and a yard, excuse me. So Ellaby has been a quarterback at Everett. All of a sudden, he's a running back. He had, did throw one, but he's running the ball here. Two wideouts to the far side, the wing to the near side. Now they bring the wideouts a little bit closer. They only need a yard. Motion, they give it to the motion man. Trying to turn the corner. Gets the first down and a little bit more. That's P.J. Norton of Essex Tech. He picked up three. Ball tournament number one, P.J. Norton. So the South will hold on to the ball. Eight and three, first down. We're in the second period, Maybe dead even at seven. Both lacrosse games ended the tie. The girls' softball game ended in the tie. Two wideouts to the near side, one to the far side. Motion now. Ellaby with, gets hit. Nice tackle by number 35, Nicholas Koster of Link Classical. Got the big guy right around the ankle. That looked like he was going to get a lot more. Koster from Classical. Held him to a yard. Second down and nine. LB will get a bit of a rest. Not as warm as it's been, but down on that turf, it gets a little bit warm. Second and nine. Wideouts right and left, wing to the near side. Looking to throw. Over the middle. Catch is made. Danny Barrett, so that's Peabody to Peabody. Lynch to Barrett. Now they call it incomplete. Third down. Not they were calling it complete, but they called it incomplete. So third down and nine. Tell trying not to be the first team to blink. Both teams got the ball and went down and scored. Three wideouts to the near side, one to the far side. In trouble, going to take off and run with it. And he's going to get a first down. Lynch had a lot of room. Number nine, Shane Lynch with the key. Looking to throw it. Game of 10, first down. He said, you know what? I think I'll run with it. Gets it out to the 48. He picked up nine. Just enough for the first down. Right at the marker, he got knocked out. Well, South converts on a third and nine. They hold on to the ball. And they keep it away from the South. Two wide outs to the far side, one to the near side. Three in the backfield now, as Ellaby is back there. A quick out, in and out. 
Lynch is past the pin at number 84, Colin Ridley. Is Ridley from Peabody hit him right in the hands and he couldn't hold on. Second and ten. We've gone this far without mention. Matt Bouchard is the north coach from Salem. Bruce Ficatelli from Revere, the head coach of the South. They both have very good memories, some good, some bad, here at Manning Field against English and classical and the like. Ellaby keeps it, gets to midfield. Ball carried back from Mario Ellaby. Oh, he picked up two, and it's going to be another third and long for the South. Stop by number 61, Tommy Falaska. Tommy Falaska, finishing up a tremendous career at St. Mary's. Played in the basketball team and went to the state final. Had a great year for the baseball team. They'll miss him at St. Mary's. Looking to throw. Dumps it off to Ellaby, the little down and out. He's going to get the first down. Pass complete to number 33, Carmari Ellaby. Well, oh, they send everybody deep. Ellaby went underneath. He gets to the 41 yard line. Picked up nine on the play. And they convert another third and long. They're using up almost all of this second period. He snapped the ball, will be under five minutes left. Two wide on either side. Looking to throw, in trouble. Come sit down, nice defense. David Brown with the Thank defense. You. Second and ten. Moshimir coming to the near side. Breaks a couple of tackles, gets inside the 35. Number 84, Colin Ridley, the ball carrier. Bumped out of bounds by number 50. Colin Ridley from Peabody. Gain of nine, third down. That, to the 32, they picked up nine. Third down and a yard. Well, they're keeping the ball away from the north on this drive, their second drive. One wide out to the near side, a wing to the near side. This direction. They're going to get the first down as they get to the 30 yard line. Number 37, Costa Beachin with the carry. Costa Beachin from Fenwick. Eight of two, first down. He got to the 30. He got two, he only needed one. They hold on to it. They stopped the clock for the change. Now they do it again. It'll be under four minutes in the second period. North hasn't touched the football. Two wide outs to the far side. The wing is to the near side. Ellaby, along with Lynch in the backfield. Motion now. Lynch with the keep. Tiptoeing his way around. He finally gets pushed out of bounds. Big with the carry. You put it at the 22. Second down. 
Here they put it at the 27. He picked up three. Second down and seven. Clock is stopped because he went out of bounds. So second and seven. Lynch is going all the way at quarterback. Ellaby, who's a quarterback, is going all the way as a running back. Did throw it a pass off a lateral out. They're scoring the first touchdown. One wide out to either side, the wing to the near side. Ellaby looking to throw. Let's it fly through it too far. He had Ridley open. So it'll be another third and long, third and seven. Had a little too much mustard. Flag on the play. An eligible receiver downfield against the south. So the penalty is against the south. Let's see what the north does. It would be third down and seven. Or oh, it's going to be. Five yard penalty. You mark it. Remain second down. To the 32. Now it's going to be second and 12. Two wide outs to either side. Lynch looking to throw. In trouble. It's wrapped up. And goes out. Jack Marks from St. Mary's with the defense. Another part of that four, third down. Super Bowl team. He put the ball back at the 36. He lost four. So third down and 16 from the 36. They had a place kicker warming up, trying field goals, loosening up before the game. That didn't, nowhere near an attempt from this distance. Three wide outs to the near side, one to the far side. Lynch looking, now turns and lets it fly. David Brown with another big defensive play. Norton from Essex Tech was wide open. And David Brown came over and helped out on defense and got a hand on it and knocked it away. Outstanding defense by David Brown. And it's going to bring up a fourth down. I don't know if they'll punt from here. I wouldn't think so. You kick it in the end zone, all you're going to do is bring it out to the 20. Three wide outs to the near side, one to the far side. They need 16 to hold on to the football. Lynch, looking, still looking. Let's it fly, it's caught. A solid hit, Ridley. Coming back. He was over the line of scrimmage when he threw the football. So that was a great play. He ate up a lot of time. Ridley from Peabody broke open and got the pass from Lynch from Peabody. He was way over the line when he threw the ball. They, they lose it and they lose, they lose the down as well. So from the 36 yard line, the North will put it in play. The South ate up all but three minutes, just about three minutes, three minutes and 10 seconds of the second period. Looked like they were gonna score again on that great pass from Lynch to Ridley, Peabody to Peabody. But uh, Lynch was way over the line of scrimmage when he threw it. 
And it turns the ball back over to the north. Flag on the play, another flag on the play. We'll see how that works. Flag on the play in the backfield. That was Shannon. Holding against the north. Holding against the north. Husk. So they'll bring it back. Flag is 10 yards from the previous spot. Remains first down. Well, you put it back at the 26. It'll be first and 20. Three wide outs to the near side. Rolling, looking. They let it fly, he's there! Just off the fingertips. David Brown. He was there. They almost had a big one. With that speed, he out, out raced everybody. He was open along the sideline. And just about a foot away from a huge gain. And maybe a touchdown if he could have stayed in bounds. Nice little crowd here for this game tonight. Bands on the far side, near side. Watching these high school seniors play their last game as a high school player. They threw it behind the intended receiver, Nathan Miller of Triton. Shimataro's pass is incomplete. Third down. Well, they got to do something because they're, gonna, they're leaving some time off the clock. 225 left. If they throw another incomplete pass, they'll have to punt and so we'll have a chance. Time left. Some timeouts left. Maybe do some damage. North will get the football to start the second half. Bowling going to take off and run with it. Shimatar on the field. Offense back for 41. Bogus Acosta. We got back to the line of scrimmage. Timeout north. Shimataro. Brings up fourth down. To the 37. He picked up 11. And let's see what they do. It's going to be fourth down and nine. I think it was the south. Call timeout to try and stop the clock and maybe have some time left. 12 ticks over two minutes left. So both teams went coast to coast on their first possessions. Wound up 7-7, ending the first period. And now both teams come up short, although South had a great try. They moved the ball. They ate up most of the second period. And they looked like they had a great play to get down close and probably score again. But uh, Lynch, the quarterback, went over the line of scrimmage to throw the pass. And he brought it back and turned the ball over to the North. Now the North has to decide what they're going to do. They're going to go. Three wide receivers to the near side. Rolling to the near side. Looking. It's caught. And it's going to be a first down. Matthew Sop of Beverly. Matthew Sop. So they convert. Game of 20. First down. 20 yards in the first down. Going quickly now. Three wide outs to the far side. 
hit and dropped. And with Carl Staten, fight number 73. Jason Shosho from Revere. Timeout North. Well, North will take a timeout as they lost seven yards on the play. Just as he was looking to throw the football, he got drilled. 156 showing on the scoreboard clock. I'm assuming it's correct, otherwise, the official would be signaling up or down. To the press box, but a 61-yard pass play from Jay Lynch of Peabody to Costa Beach and Fenwick. The extra point by Maximus Rizzo of St. John's Prep made it seven nothing. South comes back and goes 71 yards. In 11 plays. Max Mataro from Triton to Will Shannon from Maskinormit. Little two yard toss. Kick was good, 7 and 7, and that's where we are. And now it's second down and 17. Two wide outs to the near side, a wing to the far side. They swing it back. Yeah, not going to work. Shannon hung up in the backfield. A little out. They lose a yard. Third down. They lost a yard. Going quickly. Third and 18. The quick out. Caught. David Brown. Pass completion number 33, David Brown. To the south, 47. So he picked up four on the play. Correction, four. Fourth down. Fourth down. And 14, and he'll go again with 116 showing on the clock. Three wide outs to the far side. Tight end to the near side. Rolling to that far side. Looking, looking. Can't get it off. He got drilled. He's going to lose. Is well, that's going to give the South some time and decent field position. Back at the North 48. So they lost five. Three wide outs to the near side, one to the far side. Ellaby goes in motion, quick over the middle, avoiding a couple of tackles. Inside the 40 yard line. Costa Beachin. Nine yards, they get to the 25. Eight to 14, first down. Timeout south. Two quick plays. This one picks up 14. And they're getting close to where they could at least try a field goal. 27 seconds left coming out of this timeout.
Arthur's only won eight plays in the second period, and they had a complete a fourth and long to do it. There's been a couple of sacks by the South has given them an opportunity. Two quick completions by Lynch. Again, three wideouts to the near side, one to the far side. Ellaby goes in motion. Lynch trying to get away. In trouble. He just throws it away. He was about to get tackled for a loss. He did the best he could. He was lucky Ellaby was there. He just threw it away, but Ellaby was there, so it wasn't a, a, a throwaway for a penalty. Now there's 19 seconds left. Second and 10. To get down to the final seconds, it would be a monumental field goal try from here. Now they go five wideouts, three to the near side, two to the far side, Lynch by himself in the backfield. They come after him. He's over the line of scrimmage. He runs out of bounds. They put it at the 22 for a pickup of three. Maximus Rizzo is the kicker. He's coming out like they're going to try a field goal. Number 99, Matt Griffey on to attempt. A 39-yard field goal. This would be 39 yards. Rizzo is from St. John's Prep. Line drives it. He knocked it through. He had just enough leg. With three seconds left. And it's 10 to 7. And they said that's the, the clock says 3.7. That was the last play of the half. So they couldn't get it done on the drive. They ate up most of the second period. They gave it back. North couldn't do anything with it. They had two sacks. They wound up turning the ball over at their own 48. They go 48 yards in five plays. And Maximus Rizza, Max Rizza from St. John's Prep, just had enough leg to lift it over the middle of the crossbar from 39 yards away. And that's the difference as we reach halftime. It's 10-7, the South over the North in the 61st. Again, it's All-Star Game at halftime. Wow. Welcome back to Manning Fields. We'll set this out the second half. How late first half was that 39-yard field goal by Rizzo of St. John's Prep. He's going to Bentley. And that made it 10-7 in favor of the South. And now the South will kick it off to the North. South had 34 yards rushing, 112 yards passing, 61 of them, the touchdown pass from Ellaby. Teaching. Stephen Dreyer. Goes to the kid first and 10 from its 49 yard line. Well, a little onside kick try. Didn't work very well. It gives the North very good field position. The North had 26 rushing, 69 passing, five first downs. Did big play. The 38-yard pass from Sierra Mataro.
to Sam Gent of Linfield. Three wide outs to the far side. Running to the right side, getting ahead of steam up, getting a first down. Dominic Boudreau of Revere knocked him out. So he picked up 11 and a first down. David Brown coming to the near side, cuts it up inside. David Brown on the carry. Inside the 30. It's out. That's a number 43, Ryan O'Leary, and number 47, Luke Joyce. Gain of 11, good for a first down. Picked up 11. And a first down. He did two carries for 20 yards. From the 29. Brown goes in motion. Rolling. In trouble to get run over. Mike D. Felice. We'll call it the 37. For a loss of eight. So it's going to be. Second down at 18 as we get a timeout. We're in the third period. As I said at the start of this game, and then there was one. It's been a great week. There's a few black clouds over the ballpark. There's a little bit of brightness. Hopefully, if the rains are coming, you look over Pine Hill Cemetery beyond the trees, it's all black clouds. So hopefully the rain will hold off and get this game in. The weather has been perfect. We had about a two or three minute stoppage of the baseball game and came right back and finished it right up. Sun came back out and it was great. Shannon has rushed for 26. Brown has rushed for 20. Over the middle, picked off at the 22-yard line. Chase Dooley. Peabody putting an exclamation point on this game. At the north, 35 yard line. Twenty eight yards to midfield, and then fifteen more. Forty three yard pick. Ellaby gets a nice block, turns the corner. He's a he's a load to bring down. Six feet two thirty, and we got flags coming in. We got a little head and shoulders. Little extracurricular activity at the end of that. No, no, 
Albert, you mentioned, was a quarterback, six foot two thirty. He is a load. Looks like he got to the 26 is where they're milling around. Let's see what happens with the penalty. Well, they're shorting this out. There are awards given out to five great individuals. The Charles Dominguez Heritage Award was given to George Paracas. He's a philanthropist, supporter of the Aganis, and a lot of the foundation, and a, we have and a lot more. We have offsetting personal foul penalties resulting in ejections on both teams. And he's also donating a scholarship. We got... Hard to, hard to imagine people being thrown out of the Aganis game. The Dr. Elmer Benedetto Athletic Award, he was the football found, founder. Fifteen yard penalty against the South. So LB got to the twenty six for a pickup of nine. They move it back to the forty one. That'll be first. And 16. David Wanda Media Award was given out to Nick Kirkaroo, sports editor from the Gloucester Times. To Harold Zimmerman Foundation Award, he was the foundation chairman, was given to Robert Cleary, the principal of Wimford High School. The Paul Cavanaugh Community Award to Lisa Nerick. I let Dr. Elmo Benedetto Award, I, 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 over, I passed over the winner. Dick Newton, the athletic director at Lynn English. I coached him in CYO basketball. Outstanding athlete. Does a great job as the athletic director. He got the Benedetto Award. To Paul Cavanaugh, who was an outstanding athlete and a great contributor to the foundation and to a lot of the young people and a lot of... Donated quite a bit of his time, effort, and energy to the community. He died way too early in a plane crash. Lisa Nerick, the Associate Commissioner from DPW, does a tremendous job in the city of Lynn, giving so much time, effort, and energy. Her whole family are great contributors to the city. I've known the Nerricks for 100 years. I graduated from St. Mary's High School with her father. And all the Nerricks, all the Nerricks do an outstanding job. So we're going to go back, and now they're putting up Following the penalty, it will be second and 15. Second and 15. So it played after the play for Ellaby. Double wide outs to either side, so everything calms down now. Lynch rolling, looking, in trouble. He just throws it away. There's a flag on the play. South is celebrating like it, it's against the North. Let's see. We had a very quiet first half. Now all of a sudden, things are livening up. The North is going to pick up a penalty. Unsportsman against the player from the north, and I, I think he was ejected. Players are going to the sideline. They're sending both teams to the sideline to try and quiet things down, I think. Fifteen yard penalty. They mark it. It ends up at 
a th they mark it down to the 28. Comes out a 13 yard penalty because they marked it from the point of the foul, not from the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to push it down to the 26 and make it a full Following the penalty, 15 yards. So it'll be third and one as they straighten everything out. Initially they marked it a couple of yards behind the line of scrimmage. Now they straighten that out, put the two yards back on. So it's a full 15 yard penalty from the line of scrimmage. It'll be third and a yard. The South in control. Their opening drive after a, a big 43 yard return of an interception by Chief Chase Dooley of Peabody. We mentioned the squads are small, and normally Shay Lynch and Max Ciamataro would not go all the way quarterbacking. Now we got a penalty. Flag on the play. Ball starting at the south. Five yard penalty remains third down. So they mark it back to the 31. And now we'll be third and six. So we had virtually no penalties in the first half. And yeah, we've got a bundle here in, in the last minute or two. And in motion gets the pitch. Number 84, Colin Ridley on the carry. It's just shy of the first down. Gain of five, fourth and one. Herman Mendez of Chelsea. Got it back to the 26. He picked up five. So we're back to fourth and one. They're going to get just enough for the first down. They needed one. They got two. Gain of two is good for a first down. Alan Polino, a Peabody again. Peabody's put their mark on this, and Peabody also caught the touchdown pass. Oh, Bishop Fell, excuse me, caught the touchdown pass, and they're from Peabody. Pass out, dropped. Aiden Green from Fenwick had some running room. Yes, yeah, about halfway through this third period. We've had a little lag here with all the goings on. And the rain is starting to come down. But getting a little bit, uh, picking up a little bit more, getting a little bit harder. The quick out. Slipping a couple of tackles. Lynch's pass completion number six, Jace Dooley. Jace Dooley of Peabody. Eight of five. Almost like Peabody against the North. He got five, to the 19, he picked up five. Third down and five. You went out of bounds to stop the clock. Three wide outs to the far side, one to the near side. The quick out, caught. Easy first down inside the 10 with the catch by Aiden Breen of Bishop Fenwick. Gain of 11 is good for a first down. First and goal south of the north eight yard line. You get to the eight for a pickup of 11. 
First and goal. I didn't think you were out of bounds. Now they they tell them run the clock. Clock hasn't started. They told them to wind the clock, but they didn't turn it on. So the clock will be off a little bit. Breaking a tackle, sliding and diving in the end zone. Alan Polino. Where else? Peabody. So after all the commotion, 65 yards in six plays. And the kick is good. So 17 to 7. South. Starting the second half the way they started the first half, controlling and going down and scoring after that set up by a 43-yard return by Jay Dooley of Peabody. And if you count Fenwick coming from Peabody, it was Peabody doing all the damage. flash of lightning I think I hope that's not gonna cause any problem hope when we saw that the rain is just enough to be a pain in the neck right now Rizza kicks it off from the 12 yard line very nice return out across the 45 Will Shannon having himself a game. From the 12. Get it out to the North 49. 37 yard return. So from the 49. This is where they started their first drive here at second half, and he turned it over with the, with the interception. Motion to the far side. And off to Shannon. Second down and seven. Actually, he put it to 47, so he picked up four. It'll be second down and six. Three wide outs to the near side. Shannon trying to turn the corner. Gets there and then gets bumped out of bounds. She had it on the carry. Bumped out of bounds. Yeah, it's a tough three yards. Four yards. Third down. Third down and two. Brown goes in motion. 
It'll be a first down with Shannon carrying it again. Well, he picks up the first down. Shannon carries, gain of four, good for a first down. Brown turning the corner. David Brown Jr. on the carry. Stopped by Paulino. Gets it to the 32. Picked up seven. Second down. He's got 27 yards and three carries. Second down and three. Now it's trying to get back in it. He goes double wing for the first time. Brown in motion. Rolling that way. Can't get it off. He's going to get hit and dropped. And that's been one problem. They've been getting to the quarterback. They've been running the ball decently, but then they've lost a lot of yardage. I'm going to call it the 38 for a loss of six. And it's going to be third down and nine. It's happened a couple of times. He's rolled out. He's there. And they're just getting to him before he can throw the ball. And he's not throwing it away. He's just getting hit and knocked down and losing yardage. So a huge play coming up for the North as they trail it 17-7. to With a couple of minutes left here in this third period. And the rain again. There's a little flash of lightning. They stop the baseball games at the time when there's lightning. They're not stopping this. Just a little flash out in the distance, but the rain getting a little more steady. So we lucked out the whole week. We couldn't luck out for another 12 or 15 minutes. So a big play coming up for the North. They trail by 10. They need nine on third down. From the South 38. Three wideouts to the far side. Rolling, looking, dumping it out. Incomplete. And it brings up a huge fourth down and nine. I don't think they're going to kick from here. Seventeen to seven. Almost picked off. That would have been six. Alan Paulino of Peabody stepped in. He would have had six if he held on to that. So the North will turn it over. From the 38. 
Big hole. Ball carried by Paulina. Tackle by number 19, Dick Day. Paulino gets to the 47. Huge hole opened up. He picked up nine. Second down and a yard as we're winding down this third period. Two to the far side, one to the near side. They fill the backfield now with Lynch. And they bumped into each other. Beecham was supposed to go to the far side. He tried. He bumped into a blue, blue shirt, white shirt. Back to the line of scrimmage for no gain. Cost of Beecham with a carry, no gain. Third down. I would guess that this would be the last play of the third period. Again, two to the far side, one to the near side, full house backfield for the south. Coming to the near side, depending on the spot, he only needed a yard, he didn't get much. It's either first and 10 or fourth down and inches. That's the end of the period. They put it at the 48-yard line, and that should be enough. The game is good enough for a first down. And that is my point of the third quarter. With the score, down 17, north 7. So, 10 minutes of football left. While I have this brief moment, I will rattle off the names of the young men who are playing their last game on their home field. Javin Simon of Lynn English, Tyler David of Tech, Derek Colanches of St. Mary's, Vic Maffo of Kip Academy, David Brown of St. Mary's, Nicholas Coster of Classical, Mike Bomblow, Jim of Lynn Tech, Joel Martinez of Classical, Tommy Falasco of St. Mary's, Jack Marks of St. Mary's who kicked the extra point, Peter Jean of Lynn Classical and Joseph Amaro for Lynn Tech. All of those, I don't believe all of those are suited up and playing, but they were selected. And it baffles me that if you're selected and you don't play, I don't understand that. So they exchanged touchdowns in the first period. And then that the final play of the first half, Maximus Rizza kicked a 39-yard field goal. And now here in the third period. Paulino went eight yards for the touchdown. They throw it deep. What a, that's an ESPN highlight. <laughs> Dominic Boudreau of Revere out rebounded everybody. To the North 32. Twenty yards on the play. Running straight ahead. Broke a tackle and got hit. And that's Paulino. Ball carry number three, Alan Paulino. 
Back-to-back -back first downs. Nice run by Polino. Great catch by Boudreau of Revere. He picked up eight on the play. Second and eight. So I was trying to put a lot more distance between them. Lynch is going to take off and run with it. He found a hole. Runs and slides for a first down. Eight of 11, first down. Down to the 13 yard line. Picked up 11. It'll be first and 10 from the 13. Closing in on eight minutes when they snap the ball. Here's Lynch again, sidestepping, avoiding. Do a little dance as he gets inside the 10. Eight and four. Take it down. They put it down at the nine. He picked up four. Second and six from inside the 10. The rain has just been just enough to be a pain in the neck. People aren't scattering. They're hanging around. Let's hope it stays that way. Two wideouts to either side. Started inside, cuts it to the outside, ducks his head, gets what he gets whatever he can. Back up by number three, Jarvis Diamond. Eight of one, third down. He got it to the eight. Picked up a yard. Third down and five. They're certainly within field goal range for Rizzer after he's already kicked a 39 yarder. Lynch rolling, he's going to take it. Goes airborne. They're going to put it down at the one, I think. He's picked up 30 yards on this drive and passed for 20. He's had a great game. Yeah, nice game in the basketball game as well. From the one yard line. He takes it. They didn't give it to him. the ball carrier. No gain. Second down. Second to go from the one. Actually, it's the nose of the ball is almost touching the goal line. It's that far inside the one. We'll be closing in on five minutes left when they snap the ball. And they've eaten up, they've eaten up most of the clock. They ate up most of the second period to eating up most of this fourth period. They didn't get in. That was Paulino. Paulino to carry. No gain. Third down. Still inside the one. He lost about an inch and a half. It certainly has been 
a Peabody Classic with Peabody doing most of the damage. Beatson scored one touchdown. Paulino from Peabody got the other one. Fenwick is from Peabody. Say Lynch is going all the way at quarterback and done an excellent job. Now walking in. Paulino gets his second touchdown. Sixty-two yards in thirteen plays. Max Bruce's extra point is good, making the score. Bruce with his foot. Short seven. Makes it twenty-four to seven. Coming. With that drive, they hit exactly a hundred yards rushing. for 148. They picked up 13 first downs and they're well on their way. They've won the last seven in a row in this series. Thank you. 2014 was the last time that South won. Uh, nice return. Will Shannon has gone all the way running the football. Shannon's rushed for 37. He caught the pass for the one touchdown. At the end of the game, ladies and gentlemen, we remind you we have the presentation of the most valuable player trophies to both teams. So we're under four minutes with the clock running. He's in two wilds to the near side, a wing to the far side. David Brown in motion to keep and getting to midfield is Shira Mataro get to the 45 for a game of eight. Well, it's a great tribute to be picked for this team. There are no losers here. These young men are going off to, whether it's the workforce college, one gentleman's listed at going in the Navy. Uh, they'll be, they represented their schools well, themselves well, their families well. They've been outstanding performers all through their high school career, and this is a great way to end it, to get to play one more game. That's just made for a first down. Pass complete to number 82, Matthew Sop. Matthew Sop of Beverly. Gain of 10, first down. To the south 45. A 10 yard pickup. Catch is made. Pass complete to number 22. Devin Smalls of Beverly. Gain of 10, first down. And more in the first down. Oh, 
in trouble. And he's going to get knocked down at the 39. One forty nine showing on the clock. This will be the last possession for the North. Jay Lynch had an outstanding game. He passed for the touchdown. He just ran for thirty and passed for twenty on that last drive. To put the icing on the cake to make it twenty four to seven. Christmas kicked three extra points and a field goal. Shannon got the lone touchdown on a nice pass from the two-yard line at the time after the extra point by Jack Mox of St. Mary's made it 7-7. Seven to seven. And then the winning points actually were scored the last play of the first half. Maximus, Max Rizza from St. John's Prep kicked a 39-yard field goal on the last play of the half to make it 10-7 to seven south. And they scored two more touchdowns here in the second half to put it away. But right now, Riz's field goal would be the winning points. We mentioned how this game was played. Manning Bowl, then Wakefield, and back to Manning Bowl, then to Salem at Bertrand Field, and back to Manning Bowl. They've had travels all over the place. But all those guys from here the city of Lynn have got to play their last game and they're going to dump them again. They couldn't throw it away. They finally blow the whistle. And that's been the difference. The South has been able to get to the quarterback. Jim Battaro stacked in the backfield. Lost a seven, third down. Final 30 seconds. This could be the last play. The quick out. And the pitch. They go out of bounds, so we'll get one more play. Pack completion number 47, Gene Sharkey. Down. They picked up two. The difference, the defense for the South. They gave up that first touchdown, but since then they've just shut the North down. They've been getting to the quarterback. They had a couple of instances where they looked like they might be doing something, and then a sack knocked the quarterback for an eight-yard loss, nine-yard loss, seven-yard loss. He gets hit as he throws it incomplete. Pass is incomplete. I think, and that's going to do it for the ball game. So the North winds up with 248 yards of offense, 100 rushing, 148 passing, 13 first downs. The South just couldn't get it done after that opening drive. They wound up with 39 yards rushing, 102 passing, 10 first downs. The North took the opening kick, went 80 yards in five plays. It was a little lateral in the backfield to Kamari Ellaby. He threw it. Complete a 61-yard pass to Costa Beach and Fenwick. Rizzo with his first extra point made it 7 to nothing. The North came right back, went 71 yards in 11 plays. They got it down inside the 1. They knocked it back to the 2. And it was Max Ciamatero from Triton getting it to Will Shannon to mask an omit. And then Jack Mark kicks the point. It was 7-7. Seven, seven. And that was all she wrote for the North. Rizza kicked a 39-yard field goal on the last play of the first half. Turned out to be the winning points. That made it 10-7. to seven. A big 43-yard return on an interception by Jace Dooley. 
Gave the North possession. They went 65 yards in six plays. Alan Paulino went in from the eight. The pick by Rizza. Will Shannon, the MVP for the North, he deserved it. Rushed for 33, scored the touchdown, had a nice game, returning kicks. And for the South, from Peabody, number three, Alan Polino. Alan Polino got that second touchdown. And it was all Peabody with Lynch. And if you count Bishop Fenwick being from Peabody, but it was Polino getting his touchdown. Rizzo with the extra point made it 17 to 7 at the end of three. And then they shut the South down on their one possession in the third period. They got it back. They went 62 yards in 13 plays. And it was Paulino, the MVP, getting his second touchdown from the one. Rizzo was good again. It was 24 to 7. And that was the final score. So the North. Makes it seven in a row in this series over the South as they win it easily by the score of 24 to 7. After that 7 7 tie, South just couldn't get anything offensively going at all. The South, every time it looked like they might be making a play, they got different people getting and sacking the quarterback, and they just couldn't get anything going offensively. They only had one series in the second period. And I'll go very quickly again. The young men from Lynn who get to play and finish their careers on the field that they played their games on for four years. Jarvin Simon from Lynn English. Tyler David from Lynn Tech. Derek Colangis from St. Mary's. David Brown from St. Mary's played very well. Mike Monblow from Lynn Tech. James Sh Tommy Falasca from St. Mary's. Yoel Martinez from Classical. Jack Marx from St. Mary's. Joseph Amaro from Lintec. Some of those guys might not have made it, might not have played tonight, but they were selected. They were selected to play their last game on, on Manning Field. Uh, it's a shame they couldn't get here for whatever reason. But uh, the 61st, again, is football game. And the again is weak is in the books with the South winning a 24-7 over the North. Congratulations again to Paul Halloran and all of the outstanding people that worked so hard to put this together. All the volunteers, everybody coming, doing everything they could to make this a success. And once again, 20, almost two and a half million dollars in scholarships, virtually close to 1,100 students being honored. And, all, and the students this year are now going to get 2000 a year for four years, an $8,000 scholarship. And the sco local scholarship winners, Anthony Dietrich from St. Mary's, Anna Franguli from St. Mary's, Ali Fritz got the Thomas Demakis scholarship, Brady Warren uh, got the classical, uh, got the Greg Aganis, he's from classical, got the Greg Aganis scholarship. And congratulations to those great gentlemen and lady that were honored with the great Awards that were given out, the Charles Demakis Heritage Awards, the George Baracus, the Elmo Benedetto Athletic Awards to Dick Newton, the David Warner Media Award to Nick, uh, Nick to Kukuru, the Harold Zimmerman Foundation Award to Robert Cleary, and the Paul Cavanaugh Community Award to Lisa Nerick, uh, all well-deserved uh, for those individual awards. And congratulations to all of the seniors who participated in this great week their families have to be very proud of all what these kids have done in their high school careers. And to be selected for the Aganis just caps off four great years for these young lady, ladies and young men who finish up their athletic careers. So congratulations to all of them. And we wish them the best in whatever their activities are from here. Good luck in the future. So 24 to 7, south over the north, Aganis week. In the books, again, congratulations to Paul Halloran and all of his workers and all those that made this a great success. I'm John Hoffman saying we hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Since 1986, Lynn Educational Television has enabled students to work in the television industry and learn how to produce media. 
LETV creates working opportunities for Lynn students, giving them the benefit of gaining real-life work experience in production. Lynn Educational Television brings value to Lynn students, delivering standards-based curriculum in the classroom from middle school to high school. LETV creates future generations of media professionals.